This video is about ratios and goes along with 6th grade CPM, chapter 3, section 1, lesson 6. We want to make sure that we define ratio and really what we're looking at is just that it is a way to express relationships between two or more quantities. So let's look at this example. You have four red circles and you have three blue circles. And we can say that we have a ratio of 4 to 3, but it can also be written as 4 to, T-O, 3, or 4 to 3. But it, that's not the only way we can do it. We can also look at it and say that it is 3 to 4. We can say it is 3 to 7 because if we take our 4 and our 3, we have a 7 total. Okay? And so we have all these different ways that we can write it to represent the same thing. The important thing is to remember that we look at it in context or that we provide some additional context when we're talking about it. So 3 referring to the 3 blue, where 7 is referring to the total. But know the three ways to write it. So look at this one as an example to try on your own. We have the purple dots and we have the yellow dots. Try two or three different ways for each way that you can write it. So on the last example, I showed you three ways to write it. I'd like two for each, and then I'll show you how I would do it. So when I did it, the first thing I did is I wrote down everything I was given, uh, whether it's purple, yellow, and the total which I was able to add together. It's not something that we're going to say, here's the total, but you're able to figure that out. And then I did two for each way. You can have five purple to four yellow. You can f have five purple to nine total. You can have four yellow to nine total. You can have four yellow to five purple. You can have nine total to four yellow or nine total to five purple. Lots of different ways you can arrange it. These are just a few examples.